Hey, this is Steve here, bringing you the UFC 103 results. It's a whole thing, not just one fight. <clears throat> Vitor Belfort was an awesome all-around fighter. Made his way back into the UFC and had something to prove. He proved it. When three minutes and two seconds into the first round knocked out Rich Franklin. He was very patient, kind of, you know, moved around a lot, felt him out, waited for the right opportunity, and just jacked him with a left. And once he caught him, he capitalized on it. Once he saw him stunned and started to go down, it was all over. He's a finisher, you know. He gets in there, he sees your hurt, and just goes after him. Franklin, this is a quote, said, Quite honestly, I don't remember what caught me. I'm remembering things in bits and pieces. It's because he got his head knocked off. Um, in comparison, Franklin is 27 and 5, and Belfort is 19 and 8. But you got to remember, Belfort came in at like 17 years old when he started MMA. And was just taking people out. He's still very young. He's still very strong. He still can learn a lot more. Can get a lot better. I'd like to see him go up to heavyweight. It'd be awesome. I can't believe this, uh, that those Santos beat Krokop. Krokop has been devastated in the UFC before. Krokop, I thought he was going to come in and really whoop some ass. The, you know, Fedor Emilienko, who some people think is the greatest thing ever, and some people think, like, that he just hasn't fought the right guy yet. Um, a Crow Cop gave him a hell of a hard time. I mean, Crow Cop busted up his face good. Not saying that Crow Cop dominated the fight, because he didn't. He dominated the stand-up in the first round, and that was it. But that was, I mean, when you look at a guy that never loses, and somebody comes along and gets close... You think that guy must be really good. But, uh, Crow Cop verbally submitted. Uh, it's the first time I've ever even heard of somebody just yelling out, I give up. His eye was swole the hell up. Um, he took a right knee to the jaw. That would knock most people out. That would knock me out for sure. A knee to the jaw. It was it was wicked. And then a right hand that jacked his eye. Um. <clears throat> um the non main event fights. Paul Daly for the um took out Martin. Campman by TKO. Two minutes and 31 seconds into the first round. Um, Frank Trigg went down uh, 
by way of Josh Koscheck. Only a minute and 25 seconds. Frank Trigg's getting old though, he's 37. That's really old when you're considering MMA. Tyson Griffin. Um, beat Hermes Franca by TKO. He caught him big time with a right hand, right in his jaw. Again, capitalized on it. Jumped right up on him and just started wailing on him. And then ref had to call it. We can't have nobody dying in the ring now. <clears throat> also, there was uh, a friend Escudero. Hope I'm pronouncing his name right. Got a first round TKO over Cole Miller. Three minutes and thirty seconds, thirty six seconds into the round. Tomas Durall. Durall. Um, Choked out Drew McFedras uh, with a rear naked choke and made him tap out one minute and three seconds into the second round for their middleweight. Mm. Also, you're probably not even going to care. Rafael Dos Anjos and Vladimir Mati. Yushchenko won unanimous, unanimous decisions over Robert Emerson and Igor Pakrajak. I don't know if I'm pronouncing these names right at all. Elliot Marshall defeated Jason Brills in a split decision. Nick Lentz took out uh, Ruff Rafaelo Oliveira by unanimous decision. Rick Story beat Brian Foster by way of submission early in the second round. And Jim Miller was declared uh, winner by TKO after 48 seconds into the second round against Steve Lopez, who had injured his left shoulder. And that's every single fight in the UFC, 103. Big name was Vitor Belfort. Watch out for him.